Hello everyone. In this video I will show you how to enable 120Hz refresh rate on Oculus Quest 2 and I will compare the frame rate on different games, Red Matter, Walking Dead, Echo VR, Super Hot VR and Doom 3. Be sure to watch this video to the end, there will be interesting. Let's go. You can enable 120Hz mode in two ways, through the menu in the Oculus Quest and with the ADB command. And the first thing we have to do is to install the 28 update on your Oculus Quest. Download the latest version of the Oculus app to your computer. The link is also in the description below. Install it and replace the current one, if you already have an old version installed. After installation, launch the application and check that the application version is 28. Next, connect your Quest to PC via link cable and go to the information section and check that the latest 28 version is installed. Also need to remember that this is a beta version of the update and it is gradually spreading to all devices, and you may have to wait a few days for the update to appear on your device. If all else fails, then you can manually install the update through the ADB console. If you are interested, write in the comments and I will record a detailed video about manual updating. After the update, go to the Experimental Functions menu, scroll to the very bottom and see 120Hz refresh rate item. Turn on the checkbox and restart Quest. After that, 120Hz mode will be available for applications and games that support 120Hz. If you do not have such an item in the menu, although you installed the 28 version update, then you can set the mode to 120Hz manually via ADB commands. You can see how to do this in my video. The link is in the description below. Now let's test our new mode on popular games. Not all games support this refresh rate due to image complexity and resource requirements. But some of them can already work at this frequency. I used OVR Metrics tool application to measure frequency while using the Quest. This app can be found on the official Oculus website. The first game I played was Red Matter. In this game, I didn't notice any difference. The smoothness of the movement is the same, and the picture is the same. OVR Metrics reports about 90 FPS, and no more. In general, it is the same at 72 and 120 Hz. Nothing changed. Apparently the game itself does not support the ability to work at 120 Hz, but the game itself is made very high quality and interesting. Even at a frequency of 90 Hz it is looks amazing. The next game is The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners. Also did not show any noticeable changes in the smoothness of the picture. Lighting, graphics and minor irregularities, everything remained at the same level. The game consistently produces 90 FPS. No effect from the new mode. In general, the game itself is atmospheric, but the graphics for Quest are a bit angular and simple. Another ported game is Doom 3. I installed a mod with HD textures. The game itself is, of course, very mesmerizing and causes genuine joy. I have passed it many times before, but now, when you are wearing VR glasses, there are feelings of fear and excitement. You can feel the atmosphere of the station and that you are actually smaller than on the monitor screen, and everything around you is much larger. But unfortunately, the game at standard settings produces 60 to 70 FPS and the new mode does not affect it in any way. It may be worth trying to play around with the settings in the game itself to get the best performance. And only two games were able to show more than 90 FPS after launch, these are Echo VR and Super Ho VR. Apparently, both games are adapted for a good frame rate. I tried Echo VR only in the lobby for training, the picture really changes more smoothly and OVR Metrics says that the game produces 120 FPS. It's the same with Super Ho VR, FPS is also higher than 110, which of course good. The graphics in Super Ho VR are very simple and it was much easier to adapt this game to 120 Hz. In conclusion, we can say that there is only a few games that support new mode, and the big question is, do I need this new 120 Hz mode now? Most likely not, but now there is a new standard for the Oculus Quest, although in beta stage for now. New games will adapt to new features, and with hardware updates on Quest, they will be able to deliver very good FPS. 
We will wait for the official release from Oculus with all new features, as well as new games with support for 120Hz. That's all, like and subscribe to the channel to not miss new videos about virtual reality. See you in the next video. Goodbye.